what's this? Wait. Oh, it's it's for Janice. Janice. Who works for the forestry department. Okay, kids, I see that you're on a field trip today. Okay, kids. We're going to have to practice safety. Don't bring candy because that attracts bears. Remember to take all your garbage with you because nature can't throw things out like you can. Hey, are you the new girl, Sam? I'm Tommy. I'm the the back behind where I, I'm the back. I'm at the back behind you. Wave if you get this and write back. Okay, do you want to be the guy or the girl? I'll be the guy. Hi, Tommy. Yes, I'm Samantha, and yes, I'm the new. I'm new. What's up? I just thought since you're new, maybe you could use a friend. I don't have a lot of friends either, and so I thought I'd ask something. Some. Uh, yeah, I'd ask you, something if you don't mind. Do you mind? Yes or no? No. No, I don't mind. What did you want to ask? Was it just your uncle who went to psych, psycho, or who, does it run in the fam? Who went psycho, or does it run in the family? Dude, that's so inappropriate. It's like that's why you don't have any friends, though. Yeah. But it's like he can't get friends unless someone tells him you're being a dick. Yeah. Yeah. So don't be afraid to tell people if they're being a dick. Feel on one side dick move. On the other side, it's like, that kid's not gonna figure out that he said something really inappropriate for like seven years, and then he's gonna be laying in bed and then be like, oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> like, it's one of those moments, you know, where yeah. you're like, la, 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 la. oh my god, that one time in sophomore year I said something so stupid! I'm 27. Yeah. <laughs> like, That's how I feel about like, I remember realizing, like, as I got older, like, when people had made fun of me when I was younger. Oh my god, that's the worst! The worst! And I never realized it. Like, there was, there were these, like, when I was in first grade, there were, like, these older kids that, like, made fun of me because they thought I was chubby and, um... Which I wasn't, by the way. You weren't. I've seen pictures of you. But not that it, not that it should matter. But no, anyways, yeah, just, were, like, even if you were, who cares? Like, even if, like, who cares? But they were making fun of me. And, like, when I was, like, much older, I was like, oh, my God. They were making, you know what they were making me do? So, like, we were sitting on the bus. And I had my legs, like, out into the aisle of the bus. And the kids are all the way at the back. And they were like, hey, Stacy, like, stomp your leg on the ground. And so I stomped my leg. And they were like, no, no, the other one, like, the one that was closest to them. So I stomped it. They were watching my legs jiggle. That's really mean. Yeah. And I didn't catch on until, like, way later. I was like, oh, my God, what assholes. How old were they? They were in sixth grade because they were out the way at the back of the bus. I was in first grade. Were they I girls? No, they were boys. I still remember the kid. The kid's name, like who it was that said that. Just name him. Name him now. No, I don't want to do that. Name him for the world. I don't want to do that because then people could find out where I went to high school. Is it gonna be but like he was a jerk. Todd Toddinson. Like no one's ever gonna find that. I don't know. Whoever it was, I'm coming for you. <laughs> Stacy's gonna tell me the name later. You're dead. Yeah. And I also remember the kids that always told me, like, when I was walking down the hallway, they'd be like, hey, that's an awesome, I've probably said this before because I remember it, like, so clearly, but they were like, wow, that's an awesome outfit, but they were being sarcastic, and I was like, thanks! Like, and felt awesome for the rest of the day, and then, like, three years later, I was like, oh my god, they think I'm a loser. It's okay. Um, my coaches, when I was, like, in third grade, would be like, wow, Mara, you're such a fast runner. And I was like, ha, I am a fast runner, thanks. Because oh, I didn't no. think about it, and so I was like, oh, I must be a fast runner because they're saying it to me. Yeah. I didn't know that they were being sarcastic and mean, and I'm like, excuse me. That's a really me. fucked up thing for an adult. Yeah, an adult. It was an adult saying it to me. All right, it's one thing if it's kids, but, and I mean, like, they're still dicks if they're kids, but adults should never 
do that to children. Well, adults, first of all, adults, children don't understand sarcasm until they're around 12. Mm, Before that makes that, sense why I had all these realizations way later. No, yeah, because you don't under, kids, honestly, for real, they don't understand sarcasm. They don't have the processing <gasps> ability. They're like robots. Yeah, they're like robots. But they don't. They literally don't have the processing ability to know that you're being sarcastic. Everything you say to them is reality because that's the stage in their life where they're absorbing. Everything that you say is fact. Yeah. Because they're absorbing information. Mm -hmm. They don't understand sarcasm until they're older. So don't be sarcastic to little kids because it's on one side it's really mean on the second side they don't understand it so don't yeah so they're not gonna like catch the joke think it's funny they're just gonna believe you yeah so play messages sam sam hello sam oh that must be lonnie <laughs> Where are you? Really? I need to talk to you. Please be there. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really... Sam, Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come to the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel's a total weirdo. The only reason I ever hung out with him in the first place is, is he had a Nintendo when we were little. That's mean, dude. Well, I mean, depending it's true. on how little they are, they don't really understand that that's like not something that's nice to do. I know, but she said that recently in that other letter. But Where it sounds like they haven't hung out for a long time. No, because she went over to his house to talk about Street Fighter. Mmm. That's not nice. Not even saying, like, oh, he had a crush on you and he was nice to you, like, so you owe him niceness. It's like... No, just don't just lie don't. to people about why you're being friends with them. Yeah, just don't be friends with them. Am I not able to use the phone? Fine. Am I missing anything? Uh, go back over to the thing. Can we open a drawer? Where? In there. Can Here? we open those cabinets? Worldwide timetable. Oh, that's where we are, so the time's different. Oh, I see. Oh, yes. Back in the days before the internet, when you could just Google what time is it in place where, place where they are. We're going to go up to upstairs soon, but I want to see if we can open this door. And there's no, like, drawers on that other side where there might be a key. Maybe it's just locked just so that we don't get distracted in places that don't matter. Yeah. New area to explore. Dad's gonna come home. Why are all the lights on? Literally every single light <laughs> in the house is on. Why are all the lights on? Controlled burn scheduled for Boone County. Plumes of smoke will rise above the northeastern region of Boone County over the blah 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 fire on purpose. Janice Greenbrier. Briar. Briar. She so she was in an article. Yep. Oops. Oh. What? Nothing. Oh, I thought maybe on the back there would be some sort of No, I just, just throw everything everywhere. Okay. I have issues with authority, like organization. Fuck that. Uh, to aid in the upcoming prescribed burn operation, a ranger with expertise, blah, blah, blah. Way to go, Janice! That's pretty much all that says. I think she was She's not dead, right? What? She's not dead, right? Oh, we'll be such jerks if she's dead. Let, let me read that article again. No, she's... Okay. No, she's alive. Alright, she's not dead in, like, a forest fire or something. I suppose that's possible. Cooking class... 
cooking class. Ballroom dancing. So these people are not rich. They inherited this house, yes. right? Yes. Yeah, they inherited it from... So apparently, um, the uncle, the dad's uncle went quote-unquote psycho, according to that. He probably just died kid. quietly in his room, but whatever. Yeah. Well, they, they said he was kind of like a hermit, but that doesn't really make somebody crazy. That just makes somebody, like, whatever, you know? I don't understand why they didn't just sell the house instead of making their daughter change schools. What... This is her dog. Yeah. Obviously, this is a teenager's room. Yeah, clearly. They left the TV on. Hmm. Can we turn the TV off? It's drive That sound is driving me crazy. Thank you. Got it. Someone took the DVD player. Or, or the, the video, Nintendo. The video game system. The yeah. N64. Uh, Super NES was It's 95. Here. The N64 wasn't out, Murray. Oh. <laughs> so, Super NES was here. Actually, I don't know when it... No, the N64 didn't come out until, like, I don't know. Adventures the Cat. Let's put this back nicely, because it's an N64 cartridge. Stacy, look! Look! It's those things! Oh my gosh. Wow. I wonder if they actually work. We're too far away from the TV for to make it work. <gasps> more N64... More car no, that's a... Super NES. Yeah, it's Super NES. Yeah. SNES. SNES. Yeah, so the N64 was 1996. So. I will not throw the cartridges. Not quite out yet. Girl, is your room so... Like, are you Clarissa? What's going on here? Clarissa explains... Oh, she's got a pirate flag. She's got a locker. Oh, what? Stacy. Oh, no. <laughs> she likes girls. <laughs> How do we know this? Because that's exactly what I used to do. Just cut out pictures of female celebrities and put them all over my room. It's a miracle my parents did not figure it out. No, Stacy, they thought that you... They're Nobody like, oh, figures she just has this lots out. of female role models. Nobody ever figures it out. I, I haven't had that much to drink, Jodie Foster. How many fingers am I holding up? You better not have been reading my secret diary again. Uh. uh here you go, Mitten. Have some... Pate. Dress! Meow. Um. Oh. Okay, we'll come back to that. We have to figure out the combination. Which we probably won't figure out yeah. on our own. I want to believe! Want to hear something funny, though? So, on, I used to make these, like, gigantic collages with all of these celebrities. And most, most of them being women. And, um... But I wasn't really, like, conscious of, like, what I was doing exactly yet. I was just like, oh, they're pretty. Um, I don't know. I guess I kind of knew. Anyways, but I put a topless woman on one of them. Mm hmm Because I, like, wasn't thinking about it. I was like, oh, yeah, that's normal. Why not? Boobs. And my parents were like, uh, what is this topless woman doing on this collage? And so I took, like, colored pencils and I put a dress on her and your parents were like okay yeah up? and apparently they just were in denial about everything because i mean i still like dated boys and then i don't know but well, any if if people have like watched our videos before if you watch our dragon age playthrough you know that my parents uh don't think, believe don't believe that bisexuality is a real thing so so there's that. Sam, I think the creative writing track would be perfect for you. Mrs. Black Lock. Blah Lock. Black Lock. English creative writing. Read college. Oh, boy. Let's just read the English creative writing. Three students from each track will be offered a full scholarship to their year, first year at Reed. Hmm. So maybe she got the scholarship? Fun fact, creative writing was my major. Ooh. Uh, Mr. Benchley observed Miss DeSoto wearing a t-shirt with an unacceptable image on the front. A large beer can labeled Pabst Blue Ribbon. Such, oh my god. 
Miss DeSoto was sent to the guidance counselor's office. Miss DeSoto was given the option to turn her shirt inside out, change into a shirt from her gym locker, or be suspended for the rest of the day. Miss DeSoto chose suspension. Her father was called, but there was no answer and no answering machine. Miss DeSoto must return this form tomorrow, signed by her father. Oh. I don't think she has parents. She might. Or maybe she gave them a fake number. Well, I was thinking that, yeah, she gave them a fake number and she was going to have Sam write the... Yeah. Hey, Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Col Coliseum? It came out last weekend and Todd won't shut up about it, so either it's good or we can make fun of him for liking it. My mom is supposed to cook dinner for us, question, question, tonight for a change, but I can ditch out on it probably. What time? Also, isn't that movie supposed to be really violent? Am I going to barf? According to Todd, it is pretty hardcore. I guess Uma Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle, so that's kind of hilarious. Also, something about cheeseburgers is important. Todd wants to see it again. 7.15 okay? Don't barf. Uh, all right, hamburger barfing. She doesn't get stabbed with a heroin needle. She gets stabbed with a uh, adrenaline. adrenaline needle in the heart. Because she overdoses on heroin. She thought it was coke, to be fair. Yes, she thought it was coke. Uh, Captain Allegra, still in her flowing skirt and sturdy jerkin, descended the single shining thread into the lower cavern of the labyrinth. She and the first mate, on their own now, grew closer to their goal, the throne room of the dead immortal king of the island. The first mate slid down the line onto the stone floor. She swept chocolate bone dust from the front of her canvas trousers and looked up at Allegra. Oh, the first mate is a woman. Yes. The silken thread. They're both women. The silken yeah, thread, nigh yeah. unbreakable thanks to the enchanted moss that enabled the island, inhabited the island, trailed behind, leading their way back into the entrance. Back to the entrance. For, further into the labyrinth, a moaning began to echo. The moaning grew louder and clearer. It turned into words from some ancient language they could not understand. The king's cursed voice, the hairs of the Captain Allegra's arm stood on end. They looked back at the first mate. Those eyes remained locked in the blackness of the passage of a moment too long before noticing the captain's gaze. The first mate nodded silently ahead. Following the king's ghostly song deeper and deeper into the labyrinth, they came upon a rocky gap spilling forth otherworldly blue light. The great basin of the dead king's throne room lay below. Skeletal in rotted robes, the king was hunched over the blue orb topping his royal scepter. Shadows of his bony fingers danced on the walls like ghouls. As he sang, wailing souls flowed in one by one through the cracks in the cave walls, pulled into the orb causing it to glow brighter and brighter. Behind the king, a long staircase hung from rock led down into the chamber from a passage at the top. Allegra said, We have the advantage in numbers. I will draw his attention, and then you, but the first mate interrupted, No, I am smaller and quicker, and you know of dealing with mystic, mystic energies like these. I will circle to the other side, get the king's attention, and lead him on a merry chase. She held up the silk line, all traced, by this invincible thread, of course. Allegra said, It is a good plan, but perhaps we should go together. The first mate shook her head. You know this is our best chance. Don't be afraid for me. They grasped hands and exchanged three tight squeezes, their palms growing warm. The first mate tied the shining thread to the belt of her trousers and gave a quick salute and a wink and dashed off. Allegra waited, staring vigilantly across the top the top of the stairs where the first mate was to appear. The king continued his wait. No. No! The singing stopped. The king turned and began walking up the stairs. Allegra wanted to call out to do anything to stop the first mate from running headfirst into danger. She tried tugging on the line to signal her. No use. The king was nearly at the top of the stairs when the first mate burst through the passageway. She skidded to a stop even from across even from across the yawning basin, Allegra could see the first mate's eyes grow wide. She could she turned and ran. Summoning his undead power, the king left the ground, levitating, gliding behind her with distress distressing speed. From from some dank passage much too far away, Allegra heard the first mate's screams. She was already running towards the sound. The line in Allegra's hand went taut, then shuddered. It fell slack to the stone floor. As Allegra ran, 
She was gathering it line, twisting it around her arm. She came for, to its end. The unbreakable thread dangled limp, limply, its end shredded and frayed in her hand. She tossed it to the ground and ran, ran, ran. I feel like kind of a jerk that I thought the first mate was a guy on the first read through. Oh. Well, well, you of know, of course she would. I, I mean, think the the uh, the theme of this game is to it's for the ladies. It's for the ladies, but you don't think it's for the ladies at first. <laughs> you're like, huh, normal mm -hmm. teenagers, and then you're like, normal teenagers. <laughs> yeah, you oh, say. Oh. Look at this Anne Frank binder. Wow. Oh wait. Nothing. Oh. Oh. What's that? I'm trying to grab it. Oh. Mitten. That means the cat's dead. Yeah. Got your number. Are you going to the dance with anybody? Who's got a crush on you? Oh. Do you like sports? Would you like to introduce me to your friend? Are you a busy Friday? So dreamy. Get, Get your, your friends, friends together. <laughs> it's time to find out who has a big crush. Is it Matt from science class to Daryl from track? You'll never know unless you're got unless you've got his number. Got your number. Wait, that reminds me of that one game. I can't remember what it's called. There's uh that reminds me of so many stupid board games like I can't even remember them now, but I remember the Pretty Pretty Princess, dude. Oh my god, my cousins and I used to play that all the time. Wow. That... You know the woman who was the in the painting of this, like got tuberculosis or whatever because of of that of posing for that painting and she was like really sick all the time and she became addicted to the medicine to treat it. It was like some sort of opiate and she just got worse and worse and worse and then she died. But she like lived a really long time. Oh, it no. It was like consumption or something that she had. Yeah, that disease that makes it takes a really long time for you to die. Mm -hmm. So she became addicted to it. But she was like super famous because of that painting. Because everyone's like, oh my god, she's so like mysterious because she's Ophelia from that painting. Wow. And she like got married to people and like had kids and like they were like she's so beautiful and then she died. She was like the OG Kate Moss. Why are all the lights on? What the fuck? Oh. I think that's just, like, paint. Oh, it's probably hair dye. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, totally. Hair. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She yep. said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. It's pretty intimate, right? It's only intimate if you make it intimate. It felt intimate. We looked into the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something. But I waited. And the moment was gone. This is so cute! It's only intimate if you think it's intimate. Yeah. All right. There's tampons here. Otherwise, I, this would not have been a realistic bathroom. Bathroom. Yeah. Got to have tampons. <laughs> Why are there no mirrors here? Well, I, I know why, but... Nailed it! Feeling blue! It's too bad we couldn't break stuff. Wait, what does this say? Lonnie, Lonnie rules. rules. Oh, made out of those, like, old, yeah. like, stamp From, names. like, the... Yeah. Yes. Oh, I'd forgotten about those. 